In a Unix-based operating system like macOS or Linux, all files and directories have a set of permissions associated with them. Now, there are two ways that we break down those permissions. The first is who has the permission? The second is what permission do they have? Now, in regard to the what, any user accessing a file or a directory may or may not have access to read it, write to it, or execute it. Now, all of those permissions, both the who and the what, are represented by a 10-character string. The first character is always either a D or a dash. If it's a D, all that means is this is a directory. If it's a dash, it just means this is a file. The next three characters, R, W, X, represent the three permissions that we talked about, read, write, and execute. And the who that they apply to is the owner of the file or directory. The owner is usually just the user that created it, but it can be changed manually. Now, this R, W, X section can have several different states. Each permission can either be granted, in which case the letter is present, or it can be a dash, in which case the permission is not granted. So, for example, RWX means that the owner can read, write, and execute, while R-X means that they can only read and execute, but not write. And R-Dash means that they can only read. Finally, this set of RWX permissions is just repeated twice more. The next set applies to the group instead of the owner, and the last set applies to everyone else. So to break down a full 10 character string, let's take the example of D R W X R dash X R dash dash. The D means that this is a directory. The R W X means that the owner can read, write, execute. The R-X means the group can read and execute, and the R-Dash just means that everyone else can only read this directory.